Ja, jetzt sind wir beim, beim Bügeln hier. Das äh, Bespannen klappt ganz gut soweit. Äh, mit so vielen Händen ist die Arbeit schnell gemacht. Äh, einige haben überhaupt keine Erfahrung im Bügeln, aber dafür machen sie es ganz gut, glaube ich. Und ich selbst äh, habe jetzt gerade mal Pause gemacht, aber das steht mir ja auch zu. Ich bin ja schließlich der Supervisor hier von der deutschen Gruppe und meine Männer sind da an der Arbeit und das macht sich eigentlich ganz prima. Also äh, ich denke, heute Nacht so um 2, 3 Uhr dürfte das fertig sein. Okay. That translate that for us. He said he's having a lot of fun here in the United States and hanging out with Team Cobra. It's kind of warm up here, guys. I wonder why. There's a couple of devices throwing off a little bit of heat. Yeah. Why don't you tell no, me what's going on? In. Uh, we're building a crazy plane, and you know, we're, we got all these hot things to make things shrink up and stick, and uh, it's kind of fun. Anything else? How many days have you been helping on this? I don't remember. A bunch. They all just kind of blend together. Do you remember where you were before you started this? No. Do you remember who you are? Good? No. But this is fun, so that's all good. Do you remember where you live besides your camper? Oh, God, unfortunately. Camper's better, though. Is your family starting to worry about you? I hope not. Okay. I don't care though. If you, if you could tell your friends and family something, if this message gets to them before you do. If this gets to them before that, I'm probably not coming home. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> What's going on, Mr. Ballard? Hi. Where are we at now? Covering the wing. Starting to look pretty good. Looks real good. Actually. You having fun? I'm having a great time. A couple days ago, did you think that you'd be uh, spending all your time in a, in a hangar building something like this? I was hoping. You were hoping? <laughs> hey, remember when you thought you were coming to SEF to fly airplanes? Right. Yeah. Uh, whose fault is it that you're not flying airplanes right now? Lane. If you could say anything to Lane, with uh, what would you say to Lane right now? I love you, man. Um, you should whisper that. I love you, man. What we have here is a estate sale that just happened to come in handy for Lane's little special project. This is from an estate sale? Yeah. My, wow. my dad and my best flying buddy died. Oh. So those jets are for sale. They're all turnkey. Oh. Turbine red, ad receiver. I got, I got $5. <laughs> You could get in the turbine just for the price of an Extreme Flight 3D pack. Well, like that at 16, 2,800 bucks, turbines in it. I think that's the first advertisement we've had on this video that hasn't been Lane's plane or multi RC. <laughs> Lane, tell us what's going on right now. Well, this is Josh. Josh, what's your last name? Josh Johnson. Josh Johnson. Josh Johnson is a new CUDA owner. He bought a CUDA day, today from a fella who used one, one of the old foam ones. And then uh, he bought a 26-inch CUDA kit from my wife. Well, he came down here and was watching what we were doing. And I said, you know what? He's 18. He's young. Let's get him in here and get him on this. So we gave him a heat gun, and he burned a hole in the airplane about eight seconds later. Typical. Typical. Typical just... I will say this, he did an outstanding job. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he really did a good job. You can see that entire panel, it looks great. He did that panel and the next panel beside it. He really did a great job. Uh, but you know, learning how to deal with this stuff, it, 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 this is a great way to do it. Yeah. All right, I got you. Okay. Yes. Yes. Say, say your name. My name is Josh Johnson. And what did you do? I burn a freaking hole in the middle of Lane's big, big ass plane. As his his name, not mine. It's now our plane. Our plane. There you go. Yeah. 
So, uh, so who's the man that's been behind the camera? Yeah, really. So, the guy that's been behind the camera quite a bit in the last couple of days. Nice camera. Um, we've been we've been getting a lot of people. You know, he's been talking to a lot of folks. And let's turn around where we can see these guys working. Yeah. Turn around. Oh, we don't want to look at the back of your head. There you go. Now you're it's cooking with Crisco. In front of my head, though. Well, oh, let's let's look at it. Turn around. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get you some of that. All right. So, what's your name? My name is uh, Matt Vodrin. Okay, what do you do? I, I build large foam airplanes that shouldn't fly and sometimes don't. Okay, uh, what do you do for a living? Oh, uh, I work for a cable company. I won't say which one. Where? Uh, oh, I'm from North Texas. From North Texas. So, we got Matt Vodrin. Vod Vodrin. Vodrin. That's spelled V O O. Yeah, something like that. No, it's not. Okay, so Matt, you're from uh, Denton, Texas. Yes. And you work for the cable company. Yeah. Uh, it's not Bell. No. It's not Charter. Uh, I'm not going to say what it's it is. Which, <laughs> nah. <laughs> well, so which one do you think it might be? Oh, I, If you had to guess. <laughs> if, if you had, had guess. to guess. Oh, man. I would... My name is Wade Johnson. And whose father are you? I'm in Josh Johnson's father. You mean the guy that burned a hole in the yeah, airplane? Yeah, the, no. guy, the <laughs> guy that burned a hole in the airplane. <laughs> okay, we just wanted to check on that. You, you're now the camera guy. So, Mr. Va Vaudrin. Vaudrin. You're, Vaudrin. Yeah. Ple All right, Matt's a Team Cobra plebe, period. He's an eternal plebe. He's not allowed to ever become above plebe status. Although I will say this, he's done an outstanding job uh, both building his airplanes, the flying school bus, the flying uh, fire truck, uh, the B... Uh, B, what B are they? B-17s. B-17s, great big monster thing. Something crazy happened the other day with the fire truck. What's that? You may have seen it. it, it I, I, I on, wasn't there. I don't know what you're talking about. Like okay, wheel, next question. A wingtip. How did that happen? Front kind of almost fell off. Really? Well, uh, tell me about that. Well, I th I think I forgot to hold your beer while you were flying my airplane. That's what happened. Uh, Matt was flying his airplane. I walked out. Uh, we're supposed to look there. Okay. Smile. Mm. Okay. Matt was flying his fire truck, and I walked, drove out there and said, "Hey, let me fly that." So Matt hands me the transmitter. I fly the airplane. And I said, hey, can I land it? He's like, yeah, sure. So I landed it. Yeah, and he landed it in a very unorthodox style. You'd think an airplane that has six wheels, right, and a wing that's that high off the ground wouldn't, wouldn't have a problem with landing on a wing and one tire. Uh, but it does. It does when, when, <laughs> when you're laying. He laned all over that airplane. Yeah. And uh, and uh, it's every time I fly it now the front falls off. Yeah, I'm gonna lane all over you after this. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. That's how the water bottle fell out. And that's how Grandma died. And that's how Grandma died. Right. So tell us about the goats. Uh, there are no goats. <laughs> uh, that's not what I've heard. Well, there are some. Matt, Nav, get in here. All right. Yep. All right. I'll, I'll step over here. What? No, you gotta be. No, no. Come on. Yeah, you gotta be on this side. Okay, so Nav, what do you know about the goats? I've only heard rumors about the goats. However, uh, there's a, a sticker. He, Matt has a website, rumbuilder.com. Go, nice. Goat what dot com? <laughs> Matt, Na, Nav is our moral compass for the Crash Cast. If you've never listened to the Crash Cast, check it out. He's our moral compass. Scary Jeezy thought, Pete's. I know. Jeezy yeah. Pete's. Pete's. Yeah. 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 It, 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 it says goat F something, and there, there's a couple letters missing in the sticker. I don't know what happened to him. And he has a goat on the, um, uh, as his hood ornament. We just found that a little odd, so, you know, he's continuing on plebe status. All right, okay. That's all I can say. So, so tell us about the goats. The goats, there's, there's, the, the goats are... <laughs> tell us about the goats, Matt. We need to know about the goats. Uh, there's nothing to tell. Now, the <laughs> tell us about the goats. Can I have the camera back? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, so now, <laughs> what what just happened? <laughs> Perfect timing, Joel. That was Joel Dernberger. Oh Team engineer. Yeah, that was our team engineer. Come on in, fellas. The water's fine. Oh, yeah, um, you might get interviewed, though. Yeah, it could happen. Okay, so what we know for fact... What we know for fact... Is that Matt ha bought a van. A van, yes. And he stripped the interior. He did, yes. Is this uh, correct? Partially stripped the interior. Partially. 
partially. Okay. Is this correct information so far? That, that is correct information. Okay. That goat. Uh, that goat. <laughs> See, I can't stop. <laughs> that that van was was a nice van. Looked looked pretty good from the pictures. What kind of van is it? It's a uh, 1993 Dodge D250. So you joined the Mopar I did. club. I did, and uh, I I I you normally drive Fords, but. This time I actually, I, I got in a Dodge and I drove to Georgia and for the first time in my entire you life. You made it somewhere without having to push. I got pulled over for driving too slow. <laughs> That's not the van's true. fault. It is true. Okay. Actually, it did happen. I could go get you the ticket. Not a ticket, actually it was a warning. I'd really like to see that. Yeah, I got a warning for driving too slow in America's Georgia. We'll talk about that. All right. Okay. So we know he's got a van. We know he stripped the interior so that he can load the goats, correct? To load the goats, uh, he also was, uh, he needed some uh, space to put in the free Wi-Fi equipment. Right, and that was to attract? Uh, well, goats. What we think to be? High-tech goats. High-tech goats. <laughs> <laughs> They're everywhere. Those little bastards. <laughs> yeah, high-tech goats. Okay, now, on a typical Thursday afternoon, say 3.30 in the afternoon, where would you think that his van that... We'll get back to what it looks like. Uh, that has free Wi-Fi and free candy stickers on the side. Where would you expect to see it parked? Outside of a goat farm. Outside of a goat farm. That's that's what I've heard. Okay, where's that paper? Because that's what Nav's doing. Okay, we're pretty sure he parks it near schools too. Oh. <laughs> near schools, yes. Yeah. yeah. Goat anyway, schools. goat schools. Right. Okay. So what we've established so far is you bought a van, yeah. you stripped the interior, and you have a loading ramp for goats. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> is this is this correct information? That that has started to become kind of okay. That's enough. Involved. Okay, so now we shh. <laughs> so we know that this is true. Uh, as far as we've heard, yes. Okay. Now, what color is the van? It used to be white. It used to be white. Did it have stripes? Yeah, I believe it had some Did, blue stripes. Yeah. It had stripes. Blue and green. Blue but and green. you took got rid of those. I got rid of those. They're and, still there. Shh. Underneath. <laughs> and you painted it. I painted it uh, OD green. OD green. Now, what's goat's favorite color? Olive green. Olive green. Odd. Huh. Are we seeing a pattern here? Yeah. Okay, does this have a like doors in the back that open like like a closet? <laughs> They're more like French doors. Have you ever come out of those doors? French? I have. French goats? You've came out of those you came out of the closet. Yeah, no. <laughs> I came out of the French doors. With a goat? No. I have have you a French goat. <laughs> what? French goat. French goat. Okay, <laughs> if you were to get in your van right now, and there was a goat in your van, what would you do? I would, I would look for you guys who are probably hiding around the corner. <laughs> what do you think he'd do? What does the sticker say he would do? Uh, yeah, something inappropriate. <laughs> something inappropriate to yeah, the goat. Inappropriate. Okay, so what do you have to say to defend yourself? Uh, you okay, that's enough. So... <laughs> He just doesn't have anything to say. He can't defend it. He can't defend against the truth. I, I know. It's it, He has a fetish, and we're not sure what we're going to do about it. Yeah, well, we don't. But we'll, I drove well, 12 and a half hours for this, too. That's the problem. What? I drove 12 and a half hours to deal with you people. I don't know what that. <laughs> what were you thinking? I don't know, man. We wonder. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. In all honesty, now, all, that, all the goat stuff aside. Now, this is the part they're going to edit out. Yeah, of course. <laughs> all, all the goat stuff aside... Tell us how you really feel about Matt. He makes some really cool airplanes, actually. He does. He really makes some neat stuff. He uh, they he's... don't like him as a person, but they like his airplanes. <laughs> we'll no, get there. Oh, Matt's good people. His um, wife's better people. But... Yeah, oh, totally. Well, his wife's a great cook. She is. Yeah, how did the goats do on the ride? Did you have to let them out and walk them? Well, there was some Dramamine involved. Dr <laughs> oh, so you're drugging the goats. Now it all well, makes what sense. What he does is he walks up to the goats and says, does this handkerchief smell like chloroform? That's your best pickup line for the goats? It works every time. See, but now he says he doesn't carry the goats. We've got him figured out. So, but he finally came out of the closet doors. So, all right. But in the all French honesty, uh, Matt does build some really neat stuff. Wow. I've never seen a flying fire truck. I've never seen a flying school bus until I met this dude. Um, yeah, and I flew the flying fire truck. I landed it perfectly, exquisitely, I might say. It, it was a one-point Exquisite. landing. Exquisite. One point landing. Exquisite. Point landing. Exquisite. 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 Work with me. Who's, whose team are you on? Uh, team Cobra. Yeah, hell yes. And who, who, who's kind of like the guy for Team Cobra? Oh, that would be, that'd be Crash Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> you just call my wife a guy? Yes. That's, She's the guy. That's not going to end well for you. Well, it'll be all right. She likes me. I'm going to interview her tomorrow. Okay. And I'm going to tell you you said that. 
Okay. She, tell her she's the man. You're in trouble. Oh, yeah? Okay. I'm good. <laughs> Can promise you. Okay. Okay. I'm good. All right. So, yeah. All right. But, uh, no, Matt, uh, he's been out here helping with the, the big airplane. He's uh, comes up to me every day. What can I do? What can I help with? Uh, his wife cooks awesome food. And then, and then he tells me what I can do, and I pick up a tool and look at it and then go fly an airplane. That's a lot of what he does. But, uh, you know, just getting out there and getting your hands in it and having some fun, it, you know, being part of the thing, it, it's, fly, it's right? pretty cool. Oh, absolutely not. Oh, I bet I can do it when we land. I bet I won't. No. <laughs> when we finally decide it's time for it to be done, then you can fly it with your own batteries. Oh, only one of them is mine. Actually, we can put like 62 3S 2200s. Awesome. All right, so that's what we're going to do. That'd be a heck of a parallel harness. <laughs> <laughs> the one Carl made already was pretty exquisite, don't is you it? agree? Exqui Have you seen it? it? No, I haven't seen it. Oh, my Lord. We've got the Castle Creations Power 160s, yeah. which drop down into, of course, they come off with the, the two wires for the battery. Right. And then they have a Castle connector that with a splitter that splits to two, mm -hmm. and then each of those splits to two. Oh, wow. It's freaking phenomenal. It, paying attention. What? He was, he was looking that way. He was oh. failing to do his duty. <laughs> what? Yeah. Nav, get the camera. Uh, get the camera. Okay. It's a 5,000 watt motor. No, get back here. <laughs> come here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, 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 come on, 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 come on. Come on. Okay, um, it's been brought to my attention that while videoing for us, uh, you, you failed to pay attention. Is this true? Uh, absolutely not. Pay attention the whole time. The whole time. The entire time? The entire time. Okay. We're... Tell us the truth. <laughs> the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The whole time. The, the whole time. Well, we need to find out from your son. Josh, front and center. Do you think your dad was telling the truth? I plead the fifth. <laughs> that wasn't a lot of help, was it? <laughs> Not a lot. Not a actually, lot. Actually, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You, and you know where he lives. I uh, exactly. Yeah. You got uh, any room? I know. No. No, I'll leave three seats in the van. And, and four and goats. goats. <laughs> Do the math, huh? Yeah. It ain't math. gonna fit in a Dodge van. Four goats and three and a kid and, two, and a wife. Yeah, you're not gonna fit much more in there. Anyway, uh, now his son Josh here flying some of my stuff, which is pretty cool. Some lanes, planes, airplanes, and uh, really, really, really impressive pilot for an 18-year-old. Uh, I don't know. Tell us about yourself. He had a good teacher. He had a good teacher. Yeah, did, I, I didn't teach him. Oh, but I did though. See, I did. So I do like. I like your hat. What, what, what's Look that hat? Nice. What's that hat say? Multi RC. Do you fly anything from Multi RC? I do. What do you got? What do you got? I got two HMB 235s. I had two HMB uh, 235s, but but not at the same time. I uh, see. I had <laughs> I had one, and that one left, and then I got another one. So what's it like to have them both at the same time? It's awesome. Have you set your failsafe? No. You need to set your failsafe. Because that's what happened to one of yours? Yes, yes. It left? It, it left. It did. They're kind of fast, right? Exactly. Yeah, I still own it. And, and it's still, I, as far as I know, it is still in the same zip code in where I, it was when I had it in my possession. But if you, <laughs> if you don't, you see, the greatest part is, is I don't think they can hear me. <laughs> If you don't set the failsafe and you're going full throttle and you lose uh, RSSI, right. it's going to keep going full throttle. full throttle. And that means straight up. And, uh, and then it drifts and then it drops. Right. And then you never see it again because they're not very big. Right. So That's when the return to home kicks in. When the battery dies. You know, I keep, call, I keep calling Mark from Multi RC and uh, asking him uh, if it's come back to him yet. Because I think that he says they don't have GPS, right. but I think he sets them up so that after a while, you know, when he's running low on inventory, he presses a button and it goes back. Brings it back to yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. What and I mean, so I'm waiting. I'm waiting to find it. I keep checking in his, his suitcase, and uh, and I haven't found it yet. Sad. But, Sad. Yeah. So check your failsafe. I set will. Your fail safe. Like, I will. Like before your next flight. And set it on your uh, on your uh, controller board as well. Yeah. Yeah, because not, not only in the radio, but also in the control. Yeah, cool. So, and and you know how to test that? Turn off the radio. Well, 
first you take off the propellers. Oh. And then you throttle it up about halfway, and then you turn off the radio. Turn off the radio. Because if you do it the other way, and your fail safe's not set, you're going to have a bad day. That's right. Yeah. You're going to end up with cuts all over everything. Or if you got it set the wrong way and do it. Yeah. You know, if it's not set right. And then it's going to fly away. Now, if you want to make some guacamole, leave the props on, throw the avocados in there, and call it good. That's right. That's right. Yeah, but they fly great. They I mean, do. I, they do yeah. fly great. Big shout out to Mark and Sean. They're both wonderful. I mean, they're great guys. We met them here last year at Self, and, uh, and we've, we've had a ball. How much did they pay you to say that? Nothing. Didn't pay me a dime. Didn't pay me a dime. It's honest. You see, they're paying me to ask you about that. Oh, are they really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. They, they gave me this hat. Did they really? Yeah. See, so I had to pay for mine. See? It, it pays to be Team Cobra. That's right. <laughs> and have an army of goats. <laughs> and that's all for now. What's your name? Jim Case. What do you have against B-17 bombers? Deep-seated hatred. Deep-seated hatred. Especially uh, slow, foamy ones. Which wing do you hate the most? Is it the right wing or the left wing? <sighs> the left wing. I think it was the right wing. No, I don't like the left wing. Oh, I lean more to the right. Oh, okay. So that's why you hit the right wing. So we're flying the other night, and I'm having this really nice, really enjoyable flight. And this guy decides that my airplane has too big of a wingspan. And so he just comes, and he just shortens it by a foot. Just... It was fair game. That was part of, that was part of the plan. <laughs> it was actually a really good strike. It's the first time <laughs> I've ever had an airplane hit while night flying. And, uh, and it was one of those crashes, the kind I don't like, the, the crashes that take forever, where you feel like you've been crashing for longer than you were yeah. flying before the crash, and then it finally hits the ground, and you're like, wow, that was the longest crash ever. So you did that, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome, no, that was my really pleasure. Good. So uh, how long have you been working on this thing? <laughs> Since I got here, I mean, I got here on Sunday and started pitching in little by little throughout the week, and it seems as the week goes on, I've been pitching in more and more. Is this your first F? Fourth. Fourth, fourth Seth. Fourth. You've been to, you've Seth twice as many times as me. Awesome. Yeah. Is this the most fun you've ever had or the least amount of fun you've ever had? Uh, you know, they've all been fun, but this, this has been a totally different experience but just because of the group of people in this, this mass build, but they've all been fun, but this is, this has definitely been a, uh, and a really enjoyable experience. Now, are you a scratch builder at home? Oh yeah. Are you not an ARF guy? I have some arse, but I'm I'm a builder. Yeah, I like so, building stuff. So this is just like what you do, but ungodly big. Um, ungodly big. What's the big. largest plane you've ever built before this? Scratch built? Yeah. I haven't built any big, big no. scratch built stuff. Small foamy stuff yeah. for scratch built. So so now now you have. Now I have. Now you yeah. have. And uh, I don't quote me on this, but this might be the largest aircraft in history. I won't like, quote, period. I won't quote you. I mean, I'm not an expert, but <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that nothing, especially nothing in the hangar over next to us, is bigger than this. Probably not. Or the hangar over there. Or, or beyond that. Or, or at, like, international airports. I'm pretty sure that, like, like we're right up there now with, like, Lindbergh. Howard Hughes. Yeah, Howard Hughes, yeah. yeah. That, 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 that pine goose that, you know, that, had less wood than this that, thing. That thing, yeah, I mean, exactly. Did you know that, uh, that Boeing is actually uh, consulting us on this and this is going to be the next Dreamliner? Are they lurking here? Tonight? They are, they are, Taking yes. notes? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. They're going to they're gonna pick up the pieces afterwards and reverse engineer it, and they're going to call it the Dreamliner 2, uh, the, the, the spirit of jar. Spirit of jar. Spirit of jar. All right. Excellent. What was your name again? Jim Case. Okay, Jim. Get back to work. We need you.